Hello there, how are you? This is Timo from OnlineBuilderGuy.com and today we are going to be looking at Weebly App Center. Now, uh, this uh, concept of App Center is not, I guess you could say that it's not unique just to Weebly because Wix has a similar type of place where you can add uh, apps to your site. And basically what this means is that you can extend the functionality of your site by adding app or apps to your website. Uh, so in Weebly's case, uh, if you want to take a look at the App Center front page, you'll just have to go to www.weebly.com slash app center and then you will land this page and uh, they have basically listed all the apps that they have to that that, that they have to offer uh, for you uh, so basically when you look at the page a little, little bit uh, further down so you will see that uh, they have used different categories uh, for these apps uh, e-commerce or communications or uh, marketing and then of course they also have this other type of uh, very I guess you could say a popular type of category system where they are listing the apps uh, with some keywords whether the apps are some of the apps could be popular or highest rated or new or even free so you will also find apps by using these categories uh, here but anyways uh, <clears throat> If you think that none of these ways are sufficient for you and you might even know the app that you are looking for so you can always search for an app at the top of the page but uh, anyway let's just take a look at one of the apps and then later in this video I'm going to install another app to, to show you how this process works it's it's actually very simple it's very easy but I still want to show it to you so if you look at the for instance the facebook like app so you will see some basic information related to that app and in this case uh, uh facebook like app shows you a very brief, brief description what it's all about the star rating and whether the app is free or not and obviously a free app is free you don't have to pay for it but then there are these other apps which says that they are free slash premium and I'm guessing that they also have premium apps there as well but anyways the idea is that uh, if you pay a little bit of money and this of course depends on the app you are able to unlock some features that you wouldn't otherwise get uh, so so for instance if you uh, let's let's take a look at this event uh, events calendar so it's it's maybe a little bit easier to show you uh, okay so it takes a while until the page loads so as you can see at the top of the page it says free to four dollars and 99 cents per month and if you scroll down this page a little you will see that uh, if you choose the free version you will get these uh, features uh, and then of course with uh, with the premium version of the app you will get these other uh, other features and and of course that's basically how this uh, how this uh, pricing works and you obviously get more more features if you pay for the app uh, for instance in this case some of the features are let's say automatic while with the free version uh, the Google calendar sync is only manual so so that's basically how this works but anyway let me just go back to the original app that we are that we were looking at and uh, let's wait until the page loads a little bit so that it's uh, it's easier for me to show you so we were looking at the Facebook like app now in this very case uh, if you go inside the app you will see that uh, 
not only do you see different, for instance, screen shots of the app in action and, and how it how it works in real life, but also you get uh, a list of different features and and also the pricing, the similar type of pricing uh, structure that you saw just uh, some uh, some minutes ago. But in this case, since this is a free app, so it shows you the price and, and uh, of course the features that you are getting with, with the app. Uh, there is actually something that I would like to uh, say about this uh, uh, app center, something that I would like to see with Weebly. And for instance, what Wix is already doing. So, if you are looking at the uh, at the App Center uh, front page, so I told you that you will see these uh, star ratings. Now, this is really nice. It gives you an idea if if uh, an app is a decent one or not. But obviously, there are times when you would like to know how many people have left a rating for this app. So it could be like, like uh, that you have a four-star app and you only have two people who left the rating for this app. Whereas in some other cases, you could have an app which has like hundreds of ratings given and it's you know getting that average of four-star rating. So obviously, uh, in, in the latter example, uh, I would say that that it's a very the app is very strong candidate for your for your site because so many people, like for instance, 400 people have left a review of the app, so it shows that it's really great. Whereas if there is only two people giving a four star rating, it could be good, but there is a chance that that it's it might not be that that good for you. So uh, it would be great to see the number of ratings here, but you will see that when you click inside the app, uh, when you go to the apps uh, apps de details page, so you will see how many people have left the rating. And in this case, they have, or Facebook like has 397 uh, ratings given or reviews, how, however you want to put it. And then you can, of course, uh, read all these different reviews that people have given and why they think that that uh, this app is, for instance, a five-star app or something like that. Great, so next what is going to happen is that I'm going to give you a demonstration how, uh, how in installing an app works. So first of all, you have to log into your Weebly account and once you have done that, uh, you get an access to your apps by uh, clicking here, view more in the App Center. And in this very case, I'm going to install an app called, let's, let's make sure that I remember correctly. I, if I remember it was called Tabs, but Let's just search for it so that I can also demonstrate how the search works. Okay, so there is this app called Tabs. And when I click it, uh, I will see more information related to it. But it's just a simple way of tabifying your content so that you can have different tabs on your page and then uh, you can uh, organize your content that way. And what's very nice with Weebly, Weebly's App Center is that you can have a demo of this app, so how it basically works. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I really love this feature because it's, it gives me a much better idea uh, what, what the app is all about and how it works. So in this very situation, uh, this is how tapping work and all the different I mean there are different contents under each of these tabs so this is what you are going to get when you install the app now if you are still convinced that these tabs 
app is a good idea and I think that it's a great idea. It has close to 200 ratings. Uh, so let me just click add and let's weebly uh, install it to you. So you'll just have to click the connect link and the next what will happen is that once the addition of the app has been done so you will see that the tab has been successfully installed to your site great so let me just click done okay so it takes a little while until your site is loading up this may actually take a little while so uh, here we go uh, Weebly is loading its editor and I'm then able to uh, do some further configuration uh, to my app now of course you have to remember that uh, installing an app is just the starting point so obviously what you have to do next is that you will have to uh, do some further configuration in order to mm, I guess you could say fully customize it to your site so uh, that's basically how this works uh, I guess you could say that in, in many ways the installation is roughly divided into two, two parts installing the app and then configuring the app and now that the tabs app has been installed to my site so uh, if you uh, scroll down uh, to the left of the page and at the bottom you will see this uh, section of the page called installed apps and there you have tabs add tabs app added to your site so obviously like with with any weebly control what you have to do is that you drag this uh, newly added uh, app here and then what is going to happen next is that uh, this app loads and then you can start customizing how to use the app and in this case they they have a brief brief tutorial how to actually customize the app uh, a little bit further so that uh, you get the most out of it so uh, let me just let me just put like test doo -doo, it's there <laughs> that's my simple <laughs> tabs app and uh, that's basically how this thing works and then it's it's really up to you how you configure your app but uh, I guess on a generic level this is how adding an app works it's a very simple process the installation is very simple and and uh, you'll just have to uh, go to the app center and and find out the right app for your needs so uh, that's basically how this uh, thing for works and just to make sure that everything is there so let me just hit publish so uh website is now live and that's basically my test website with the tabs uh app functionality okay great so that's all about installing uh, apps through weebly's app center uh that's all for now and i will talk to you soon bye bye